Hello, it's the weekend after the 4th of July, 2019, and we're gonna take a little road trip this week. We're gonna go up to central Minnesota for a day, then up to the north shore of Lake Superior for a few days, and then come back through central Minnesota, kind of making a big arc up and back. Part of that process is gonna be taking the Tesla past the Duluth superchargers and doing a lot of uh, low level charging up in the north woods. So we wanted to take you along on that adventure, see how it goes, see how our patience holds up if it's a problem, and see how my family's patience holds up if it's a problem. So hopefully it won't be, hopefully everything's smooth. I've got it all laid out, should be great. We're starting with 90% battery, which is way more than enough to get to either Hinkley or Baxter. The next supercharger will be hitting. So that's our, our plan. We're getting a little late start, so this is gonna be cut short. Gotta get on the road and get to the lake. So we're at the cabin and just about to take off for Grand Marais, gonna stop at the Duluth Supercharger along the way, see some friends in Duluth there. Last night we went to the Baxter Supercharger, which was nice, had a good dinner, but there are a lot of stoplights between Aiken and Baxter, so it's not that far of a distance, but it is a lot of time just going back and forth. Probably should have stopped at Hinkley along the way, come up the uh, interstate and done the Really? Just missed a loon. Let's see if we can find him. Sunday we drove from Aiken to Grand Marais with a stop to supercharge in Duluth where we met some friends and had a wonderful brunch. Then drove up the North Shore, up Highway 61 to Grand Marais. Made it there with about 50% battery charge left. But we were running a little late for our cruise on the Hortus, which is the sailboat that does tours in and out of the harbor there in Grand Marais. We parked the car quick at the municipal campground, plugged in while we were out on the cruise, and then did some other stuff downtown. I uh, got a little extra charge while we were out there. Went up to the house. Uh, met my aunt and uncle, had a great time playing around there. Then went to Sven and Oli's for pizza, which is a Grand Marais tradition, and had a nice evening down there. Monday, we set off for the Sawbill Trail from Grand Marais up to Sawbill Lake and got a canoe and uh, some gear at the outfitters there and did just a day trip up the lake. We paddled about an hour north and the wind was at our back, everything was good, so we knew we'd have a tougher time coming home, so we stopped for a swim, had a nice picnic on a nice rock. Not another soul in sight. It was just a beautiful afternoon on Sawbill Lake. Once we had relaxed, it's time to fight the wind back to the Outfitters. We had a good workout doing that. It took about twice as long to go south as it did north, but we got back, we were able to rest and get back to Grand Marais for dinner and relaxing. Monday night we ate at the Angry Trout while we charged at the campground. A little chilly breeze off the lake, but a nice lake view dinner. Let the car charge up after all the driving of the day. We did some other walking around town and stopped for banana split at Dairy Queen. Uh, enjoyed that by the little outdoor fire they have there. So really pleasant Monday. Tuesday we decided we would take it a little easier. So we slept in, went down to get some world's best donuts down by the harbor, and then did a little hiking around the lighthouse area and Artist Point. Then we drove up the Gunflin Trail to Devil's Track Lake and had a nice swim that afternoon. So pretty relaxing day on Tuesday, didn't do too much. 
Tuesday night we went out in search of moose, which is another tradition up there, where we drove way up the Gunflin Trail near the Canadian border and tried some of the back roads and side roads where occasionally you can see a moose or a couple. Uh, we didn't have any luck, but uh, it's always worth a try. We had to spend a little bit of extra time down at the harbor charging on Wednesday morning to make up for all the moose driving we had done the night before. Just went out to Artist Point again, climbed around on the rocks, and did a little bit of shopping, and then we were ready to go on Wednesday. We got to Aiken in the evening, about time for Joan to go to bed. We pretty much just kept it simple that night and hit the hay early. Thursday we went to the Aiken County Fair, which was a lot of fun. Joan got a pony ride, rode some of the carnival rides, had a giant snow cone. We saw some girls doing some horse slalom, horse racing, not sure what you call it, but they were doing that. That was a lot of fun. Instead of staying up there till Friday, we decided to come home Thursday night. So. After another swim in Aiken, we packed up the car and headed home through Hinkley. One last little supercharge and then on to home. As if that wasn't enough adventure, as we were driving away from Grand Marais, I kind of had this sinking suspicion, like maybe I didn't shut the house off right. There are some different switches and levers you need to make sure that all the water and gas is set to the right uh, place. By the time we reached home, I was convinced I had done it wrong. and. The house was going to be flooded the next time my aunt and uncle went up there. So I thought, well, the only way to be sure is to go back up. So I called my brother and said, hey, do you want to go on a crazy adventure? So we did a straight shot up to Grand Marais and back. Left home at about 7 to 7.30 p.m. on Friday night and got back at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. Really brief stop in Hinkley just to use the restroom and get a snack. Then about an hour long stop in Duluth so we'd have enough charge to get to Grand Marais and all the way back to Duluth so we didn't have to do any slow charging. So we did that, got up to the house. We were there for maybe 15 minutes where I realized that of course I had shut everything off right and I was just second guessing it. So. Uh, kind of a wasted trip, but better to be safe than sorry. So after making sure the house was locked up and completely closed down correctly this time, we stood outside for about 10 minutes looking up at the beautiful night sky up there. You can see every star, it's just gorgeous. Then got back in the car, hit Duluth for another supercharge to get enough to get to Hinkley. We're in Hinkley for about 10 minutes and then quick back to Burnsville uh, about the time my daughter was waking up. So we got to bring her a cinnamon roll and have breakfast that Saturday morning. All in all a fun trip, but it was a flyer and a little tired on Saturday. And the car can handle almost anything you can throw at it, even a crazy overnight trip. And uh, looking forward to the next one. One last point. When we were up in Grand Marais, we were doing a lot of charging down at the municipal campground because they have a plug there. Apparently a couple of the other hotels in town also have um, just 110 outlets that you can plug into, but it's something. We wouldn't have had to charge as much at the campground if the garage of the house we were staying in had a plug. It did not, so all of our charging up north was at the campground. Now it was only $5 per time, so a pretty minor charge considering the rest of our supercharging was free with our car. So although we did have to spend a little extra time downtown, it's a place we like to hang out anyway. It wasn't too inconvenient, but there were a couple times where it was a little slower than we would have liked. From what I hear on the Tesla owners groups, it sounds like a lot of people travel up there. So hopefully there will be a supercharger further up north at some point. But the charging infrastructure is getting better all the time and the cars are getting more and more range. The new Model S can do 370, which is outstanding. And they're planning on going over 400 miles next year. Thanks for taking the time to watch and happy road tripping.